I've been testing the Stargazer cast iron skillet for several months, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, and everything in between. So if you're debating between Stargazer and a much cheaper skillet like Lodge, keep watching. First and foremost, the performance of this skillet is excellent. I've used it to cook steak, chicken, fish, and several other meals, and every time, the food comes out great. The skin on the chicken gets golden and crispy, salmon gets an even sear, and steak gets nice and charred. Like any other cast iron skillet, it takes a little while to heat up, but once it's hot, it retains heat really well. It's an ideal skillet for searing and roasting meats because the temperature doesn't fluctuate as you add ingredients. It stays hot and it cooks evenly. Overall, it cooks as well or better than any cast iron I've tested. Another thing that makes this skillet unique is its long handles, which are significantly longer than most cast iron skillets. The handle on the 12-inch Stargazer skillet is 7.6 inches long. For comparison, the handle on this 12-inch Calphalon skillet is 4.75 inches. The extra length makes it easier to maneuver the skillet while keeping your hand away from the heat. I've also noticed that the Stargazer handle stays cooler thanks to the Y-shaped design that disperses heat. The helper handle opposite the main handle is also much larger and easier to grip than the ones on most cast iron skillets. If you compare Stargazer next to other brands, you'll notice that the Stargazer cooking surface is significantly smoother. This is due to their proprietary two-step treatment that smooths out the surface while creating enough texture for the seasoning to stick to. Because of this, foods like eggs and pancakes are much less likely to stick and it's easier to clean. Another feature I really like about Stargazer is that it has a flared rim all the way around for easy pouring from any angle. Most cast iron skillets have a pour spout on each side, which is a bit more limiting. There are a few things I like about the bottom. First, there's no heat ring like you'll find on some cast iron skillets. It sits completely flat, which helps it heat evenly on electric and induction cooktops. Second, I really like the engraved logo and name. It makes a statement and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Lastly, they stamp the date that the skillet was casted on the bottom of the helper handle. This skillet was made on August 15th, 2022. I like this because it adds keepsake value, especially since cast iron can last for generations. The final pro I want to mention is the fact that Stargazer skillets are made in the USA. This is a company of skilled craftsmen that's proud to manufacture its products in America using domestically sourced recycled iron. The casting happens in Wisconsin, then the skillets are shipped to Ohio for machining, and finally they go to Pennsylvania for finishing, seasoning, and final inspection. The number one downside to Stargazer is the high price. Lodge, which is arguably the most well-known cast iron brand, sells its skillets for less than half the price of Stargazer. The main reason Stargazer costs more is because of the manual steps involved. This is not a mass-produced skillet. Each one is hand-finished, seasoned, and carefully inspected. It's an heirloom quality piece, but you pay a premium for it. It's worth mentioning that they offer a military discount to active service members and veterans. While I love the fact that the handle is long, it's not the most comfortable to hold. It has a cup-shaped design that ensures your hand won't slip or rotate when you tilt the skillet, but these edges can dig into your hand. They remind me of a wider version of all-clad handles, which people often complain about. Also, the long handle makes it a bit more difficult to store. Each Stargazer cast iron skillet is hand-seasoned with two coats of a blend of canola, grapeseed, and sunflower oil. This results in their signature bronze color, which looks great, but I noticed after using the skillet a handful of times that the seasoning wears off. Because they apply such thin layers, you need to apply one or two more coats either before you start cooking or soon after. Currently, Stargazer only offers three products, a 10 and a half inch skillet, a 12 inch skillet, and a 13 and a half inch brazier. Although these are the most common pieces, most cast iron brands have a lot more sizes and options. For example, Lodge offers nine different skillet sizes. So is it worth paying more for Stargazer or is a $30 skillet good enough? Well, the truth is all cast iron skillet performs pretty much the same. The steak you cook in a cheap cast iron skillet will come out as good as the one you cook in a more expensive skillet like this. The main benefit of Stargazer is the design features that enhance the comfort and overall experience. With Stargazer, you get a smoother surface, longer handles, wider helper handles, and drip-free flared rims. If those features are appealing to you, it's well worth the investment. Cast iron lasts forever, so it's worth spending a little bit more upfront to get something you'll love. Stargazer cast iron skillets are only available on their website 
which I'll link to in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, check out this video where I break down the pros and cons of made in cookware. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.